Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. And the other day in the gym, I saw this guy with his shirt off and his shoulder blades were winging. So I thought, you know what? I'll do a video on that. I'll do a video on winged shoulder blades and an exercise I haven't really demonstrated yet on how to potentially fix it. Because you have winged shoulder blades, that's not good. It could mean your shoulders aren't as stable as they could be. It could mean you had an increased chance of getting an injury or shoulder pain or things of that nature. And what causes that shoulder blade winging is weakness in a muscle called your serratus anterior. And that muscle, it's responsible for stabilizing your shoulder blades, holding them right up against your ribcage. So this right here, the serratus, it's a saw blade muscle. It's responsible for pressing your shoulder blade up against your rib cage. And this muscle is also active in upwardly rotating your shoulder blades. So when you're lifting up your arm like that, your shoulder blade, it's upwardly rotating to get you that full elevation. Uh, if, you, if your shoulder blade wasn't elevating, there's no way you could get up like that if your shoulder blade wasn't upwardly rotating. So the serratus is obviously an important muscle, but if it's weak, your shoulder blades can indeed wing. So I'm gonna teach you guys something. It's an exercise I haven't really showed before. It's called the push-up plus. It's going to engage your shoulder blades by doing shoulder protraction because the major action of your serratus anterior is to bring your shoulder your shoulders forward like that so it protracts them brings them forward like that so it's going to be involving it's a it's like a push-up but it's a little bit different so let me show you what i mean okay guys so now we're going to be working out the serratus anterior we're going to be trying to just move from our shoulder blades and so we're going to be keeping our elbows extended and we're actually going to be doing a little bit different than the push-up position Normally with push-ups, your hands are beneath your shoulders. We're gonna be going a little bit above and a little bit in. We're also gonna be rotating our wrists in a little bit. That's how you get the maximum amount of serratus activation doing this exercise. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be having our hands slightly forward and then we're gonna be rotating our wrists in a little bit. If this exercise is painful, by the way, don't do it. But I think most of you will be fine. So you go like this and then you go like that, start keeping our elbows fully extended, a little bit closer together, and just move from your shoulder blades, keep your body stable, just, just moving from the top, just from our shoulder blades. Try to do that. So, go down, up. So we're just going like that, we're just moving from our shoulders, maybe I'm moving elsewhere, maybe I have to move, work on my mind-muscle connection for this exercise, but I'm mostly moving from my shoulders. Do you see that? So try to do three sets of 12 of this exercise. And that's pretty much what you do. This is the push-up plus. You just come down and up. Just moving from our shoulders. We're doing that shoulder protraction. So that's pretty much how you do this exercise. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and got something out of it. If you like the video, thumb it up, comment, subscribe to my channel. This has been Jeff once more, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.